Hey guys, welcome back. Now in today's video, we are going to be putting these together. I just took them out of my uh, truck. And also, I already have one of these. So there's three of them here that we're gonna put together. It'll be four. I'm gonna paint them white, but these are not as tall as I want them to be because I have a different version on the other side that you've probably seen in, in another video. It's a lot taller than what I want here. So I may have to think of getting a taller one. Um, also, we are going to be talking about seeds. So you guys have been asking me if I am starting seeds. I will answer that question when we go in to put this together, right? I have a bunch of seeds I'm going to show you guys. And then, yeah. So let's go ahead, bring this inside, and then we can get started, all right? Hey guys, so we are inside now. Now I wanted to talk about seeds quickly. For those of you that have asked if I'm starting seeds, I do start seeds, but I don't show it. The reason for that being, I don't do anything differently from all the other seed starting videos uh, that are on here. I, I just, I do the winter uh, sewing. I do different kinds of things and I just, I'm just too lazy to show that anyway. But I do have a ton of seeds right here. I have seeds here i have more seeds here um some still on the way however though i may show the impatience that i have here i don't know if you guys can see this i have these here and i have about um i have about seven packs impatience are my favorite and i want to actually put them on a rock that i have back there um i want to put a lot of impatience there so i am actually deciding to start them from seeds instead of buying them so i'm buying a lot of seeds and this maybe um if i remember to record i will share with you guys the impatience that i hear as similar to what i had in the last video which i'm actually going to just show you pictures right here on screen i love them so much that i just want to repeat it a lot around my place all right so that's it all about seeds right so i wanted to jump on here quickly to just let you know that as i put these little tutorials together we are going to be listening to an intro to an audiobook that i've actually listened to the book over and over again but i'm about to listen to it again and i figured we'd all listen together um if i wasn't recording and i was just putting these things together by myself um i'd be listening to the books so i figured why not just do it once i'm recording so that's what we're going to be doing you're going to be listening to a book with me as i put these little tutorials together so yeah let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you once it's all finished and done Caravaggio's art is made from darkness and light his pictures present spotlit moments of extreme and often agonized human experience a man is decapitated in his bedchamber blood spurting from a deep gash in his neck a man is assassinated on the high altar of a church a woman is shot in the stomach with a bow and arrow at point-blank range. Caravaggio's images freeze time, but also seem to hover on the brink of their own disappearance. Faces are brightly illuminated. Details emerge from darkness with such uncanny clarity that they might be hallucinations. Yet always the shadows encroach, the pools of blackness that threaten to obliterate all. Looking at his pictures is like looking at the world by flashes of lightning. Caravaggio's life is like his art, a series of lightning flashes in the darkest of nights. He is a man who can never be known in full, because almost all that he did, said, and thought is lost in the irrecoverable past. He was one of the most electrifyingly original artists ever to have lived, yet we have only one solitary sentence from him on the subject of painting the sincerity of which is in any case questionable, since it was elicited from him when he was under interrogation for the capital crime of libel. Much of what is known about him has been discovered in the criminal archives of his time. The majority of his recorded acts, apart from those involved in painting, are crimes and misdemeanors. When Caravaggio emerges from the obscurity of the past, he does so, like the characters in his own paintings, as a man in extremis. He lived much of his life as a fugitive, and that is how he is preserved in history. A man on the run, heading for the hills, keeping to the shadows. 
but he is caught now and again by the sweeping beam of a searchlight. Each glimpse is different. He appears in many guises, moods, and predicaments. Caravaggio throws stones at the house of his landlady and sings ribald songs outside her window. He has a fight with a waiter about the dressing on a plate of artichokes. He taunts a rival with graphic sexual insults. He attacks a man in the street. He kills a man in a sword fight. He and a gang of other men inflict grievous bodily harm on a night of justice on the island of Malta. He is himself attacked by four armed men in the street outside a low-life tavern in Naples. His life is a series of intriguing and vivid tableaux, scenes that abruptly switch, as in the plays of his English contemporary, William Shakespeare, from comedy to tragedy, from low farce to high drama. Anyone attempting a biography of Caravaggio must play the detective as well as the art historian. The facts are rarely straightforward, and the patterns of intention that lie behind them often obscure. The artist's life can easily seem merely chaotic, the rise and fall of an incurable hothead, a man so governed by passion that his actions unfold without rhyme or reason. This was, for centuries, the prevailing view of him. But there is a logic to it all, and with hindsight, a tragic inevitability. Despite the many black holes and discontinuities in the shadow play of Caravaggio's life, certain structures of belief and certain habits of behavior run through all that he did and all that he painted. The evidence has to be decoded using guesswork, intuition, speculation, and above all, a sense of historical imagination, a willingness to delve as deeply as possible into the codes and values that lie behind the words and deeds of a far distant past. A lot has been made of Caravaggio's presumed homosexuality, which has, in more than one previous account of his life, been presented as the single key that explains everything, both the power of his art and the misfortunes of his life. There is no absolute proof of it, only strong circumstantial evidence and much rumor. The balance of probability suggests that Caravaggio did indeed have sexual relations with men, but he certainly had female lovers. Throughout the years that he spent in Rome, he kept close company with a number of prostitutes. The truth is that Caravaggio was as uneasy in his relationships as he was in most other aspects of life. He likely slept with men. He did sleep with women. But he settled with no one. Hey guys, so all of this is done. I had to stop quickly, ran out to do something, and I had to come back, put it all together, but it's all done. Let me flip the camera, show you, and that's about it, all right? Okay guys, so these are the females all put together, and I have to tell you, I love it. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe the height is not as bad as I'm thinking. And the one thing that I truly love is the fennels on top over here. I gotta do, I gotta fix this. This has to go in a bit more. I'll do that tomorrow. But yeah, I love the fennels on top here. I don't know if you guys remember, I do have some big, big, massive planters and I'm thinking to put fennels on each uh, edge of the box, you know, so who knows. But yeah, I love these and I love how solid the wood is. Um, in the next few days, I am going to be painting them quite like this one. I'm going to repaint this also and fix. This is cracked because it fell a few times. Um, I can fix that. But yeah, but this is the end product. Okay, and uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing. I hope you're staying safe out there and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.